Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a game called After the Curtain Call I think it's like a game about um, an actor Probably A little loud Turn a little down But uh, it's about an actor I think Like a stage or something Because it says curtain and uh, I don't know Let's just get into it Act 1 Life is a dream And trim is 1 Find all books first Sigmund's monologue is a piece of life is a dream by Pedro Caron de la Barca. Sigmund is an heir to the throne, but he was deceived. He was locked in a tower where he questions whether his role as king and life itself is a reality or a dream. Okay, cool. So it isn't like a, an act. Illuminate the actor. Oh. The king dreams he is king, and he lives in the deceit that of is a cool. king, commanding and governing. And all the praise he receives is written in wind and leaves a little dust ah! on the grave when death ends all with a breath. Oh. Where then is the gain of a throne that shall perish <laughs> and not be known in the other dream that is death? Isn't he dreams the rich man of riches? Isn't he just the talking? Fears, the fears that his riches breed, the poor man. Oh, I can like look around. And if they don't follow him, and tears, this could be like a cool way to make a puzzle. With years. Like um, just fame, just looking around to see things. Dreams he that rails okay, shut up. on his foes, and in all the world I see, man dreams whatever he be, and his own dream, no man knows. And I too dream, and behold, I dream I am bound with chains, and I dreamed that these present pains were fortunate ways of old. What is life? A tale that is told. What is life a frenzy extreme? A shadow of things that seem, and the greatest good is but small, that all life is a dream to all, and that dreams themselves are a dream. Damn. I don't know what he's talking about. And what is a dream? But the absence of thought? And what is a dream but the life of another? That is only live in the mind. A dream is nothing. Play Why don't you understand? It is nothing. Part. All these stories are just Play myths, subjective part. ideas, exaggerations, dramatizations. Why did you come? <laughs> we have nothing to give you. Play we are just actors part. following Play a script. Your Play your part. Who's just talking in the background, like saying something? I, I couldn't understand anybody say something. That was one person clapping. It's, it's a dream. Oh, what is happening? Okay, uh, you. You're the electrician, right? You're the one who. Moves the yeah, 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 I, yeah. I need you to do as a favor. Yeah. Go, go behind the stage and the radio. The radio. Turn it on. I, I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it. Please, it's really important. Okay. We're depending on you. Sure. Mission: Turn the radio behind the stage on. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't have to look around. But that could be a cool way to make a um, like a what is it called? Puzzle. So you can like sit here. Okay, there's a spotlight here, and you sit here, like there's something hidden out here, and or like here, and I have to follow him, but see like what what it says to after l open a door or something. Um, probably it's like some numbers saying maybe over there, and I have to follow him, and only when he's over there, it appears there, so I have to look around. That could be cool though. I haven't seen that before. Like you have to, you can only look for a limited time because you've got to follow something else. Okay. Today, this is the day we risk it all. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, famous drama passionates, they are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theatre. The Lewises! Their family has supported small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn! Th that is, if everything turns out fine, of course. I have been practicing theatre since I was six years old, and today, us leg wreckers will rise to the top. I. I'm I'm getting nervous. I, is it too obvious? Maybe I should stop writing notes and continue practicing the script. I, I, I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg. No. Let's not break a leg. 
what I mean. This is very open. Why, why, why is it like this? Why is it people... Okay, this, this looks really cool though. The graphics are really nice. Like, if you look close, it's a little, um... Low poly, like a little low resolution, but it just gives a good vibe. Like, the lighting is really nice. It's like a very soothing, um, kind of light. Lighting. It's just... It's a weird sound. Okay, but there's some cool lighting. I like a soft light. Okay, chill, damn. Uh, electricity. Mission, search for the key and access to the electricity sources. Can I run? No, okay. Creation. Employers only. I guess I'm an employer, right? Can I, can I look at the key in here? Mm, probably not. I still don't know what those sounds are. Thought I just heard a footstep. This is making me feel uneasy. This is this is um nerve wracking a little bit. Like it's a uh, uncomfortable. Just too, way too quiet. That's nothing here. I don't really want to go in this dark corner. Is it like dark? Can I just not see it? Is there a key over here that I can just not see? Even the chairs. Can't see anything. But I can't go up here, so it probably won't be up here. Hmm. This just seems to be the only way. I'm gonna go in decoration. And I can't go in electricity. Maybe I go over here. In each page, a warrior is presented as a dictionary entry. Alexius, another warrior that went from being flesh and bone to another demigod. As the legend says, a shepherd walking his sheep saw him fall from the sky with a bright light. Alexius passed the time watching the gladiators fight. It, it is said that when the Roman Empire began, Alexius was the best warrior from the abilities he had learned. Um, only learned by watching others fight. He died during a battle and it was rumored golden blood dripping from his wound. It is known for a fact he had offspring, but their whereabouts were lost to time. One of five books. Now that sounds are intensifying. Still know that it says key here then. The radio isn't, isn't working. Fix the sound. Main electricity source. Okay. I didn't understand a word of that, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Exactly. You are right about that, bro. Um, let's uh, go and do uh, the thing. Damn. It's gonna be in decoration then. Probably is, right? Another book. A mystical and horrible Lovecraftian tale about a kid who, misled by his fa grandfather's indications, awakes an ill being while making a snowman. A Christmas classic for the whole family that, that I myself would recommend. Oh, very white Christmas. Kind of cool that you like accidentally wake an, an ill and being, or like otherworldly being. That's kind of cool. Where the hell can I go? No, I was here. I'm so gonna What? That scared the absolute shit out of me. Jesus Christ, I didn't say a sound because I just oh my god, what the What? That doesn't make any sense! It's just a random tentacle! Okay... Damn, my heart is beating like crazy. 
I'm not going over there. Oh, oh my god, this is weird. That's so strange. Open the meter door. The tenth sister will hedge. What? I'm so happy. We had never had the theater for us. And from not having anything to have the whole gold sign theater, that's a big step right there. It is not the biggest stage, but it has rooms everywhere and having more space for our costumes and scenery is something I will take with open arms. I think the new decorations, by the way, there's a sphere. Nothing new, I know. But it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, I don't know what play they expect us to make with that thing. Okay, there's just a random giant sphere. Cool. Okay, what is. What? No. What is so weird? No. Like that, easy. We got another book. Um, three out of five. This book narratives narrates the life of Lontian, a mythologic, a mythological creature living in an old Philippine forest, in which mystical and sometimes horrible things happen. A marvelous place of narrative fantasy. Luncheon seems like a great guy, if I do say so myself. Ah, uh, the tale of Luncheon. Search for the key and access to the electricity sources. What? What exactly does, does that mean? Why did I not go in here? Oh, it just opened. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, lecture's key. The fall of the Mayans. This piece tells the story of the Mayans who ended up being eradicated by the Aztecs in a cruel and painful way. Because of this, their souls wouldn't be transformed into butterflies as their religion demanded, since they didn't reach the sun. They instead became their counterparts, moths, living in the dark and forever searching sun's light. An interesting and dramatic fantasy book. That's kind of cool to concept. That the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent. No, even better. Is it even possible they have bought us the whole Goldshine Theater? I'm shocked. The Goldshine is now ours. I never would have seen it coming. Besides the theater. They have also bought us some decorations, which Helena is organizing, and some extra pounds Jeffrey has spent on books to write an original play. I always wanted to do that. If Jeff wasn't a mess and didn't throw his books around everywhere, I'm sure they're lying around here somewhere. I found some of those books, actually, my uh, friend. I'm probably gonna be attacked by something here, Aaron and I, because I know I know that jump scares in this game. Which is the last thing I suspected, because this does not look like a jump scare kind of game. There's nothing that can do a jump scare here. There's literally nothing. It's just weird sounds. What? What just happened? Oh, I was first. Life's a dream. I just st stood set here, and this comes on. <laughs> I stood right here, so the tentacle just went right through me. Okay, cool. Part of five. Oh, come on. Look at the thing. Pied Piper of Hamelin. The cl this classic, the classic story of Pied Piper of Hamelin. However, in this book, in specific, it is noted that the flute is not what attracted in invasive rats but that the flute summoned some creature which was itself for the reason of the rats escaping away the books the book calls this creature Schle schlegergeist the book is really really old could it be the original i do not know man okay let's go up here i got to look at what the um no oh, wait what it's around here okay this this way I don't remember what um 
I didn't see what the title was in this book. Heroes from Oblivion. Oh, that makes sense. Is it turn the radio on for some reason? Because that it's important to those guys. What's it sound? What the hell is happening? Hide! What do you mean hide? I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm hiding. Oh, okay, hello. What? Why? Hide where? Hide where? Wait, wait, what? Exit the electri electricity room. Oh, I, I was supposed to die. Okay, I thought I was gonna restart from here. Okay, that was confusing. Okay, this one seems a bit harder, but not too hard. Oh, it, it, it is. Okay. Like this. Yeah. Ouch. I'm still in the electricity room, apparently. Doesn't really look like it. That's... Just great. Thank you for putting those sounds in here. And the tentacle and the, the weird demon in the theater. For some reason. But you know, life's a dream, as he said. I, uh, but sure. This makes sense, then. We like, edge here. What? Okay. This doesn't seem like a problem. Jesus Christ, never mind. I, I was just about to look up and then there was something. Okay. Okay, thanks for playing. Just, you just completed after the curtain call, Act 1, Life's a Dream. Do you, did you find all the books to play the intramost extra content? Do you find the Act 2, Wink, Easter egg? Did you find the Act 2, Wink, Easter No, I don't know. I did find the books. Okay. Did that? Yeah. Oh. It's here again. Some kind of extra st extra thing. Isn't this just the the vents again? Oh no, the weird human-sized vent. Ten sister, you whose light shines upon us. For our hearts beat and our steps sound at the rhythm of the music. Will be your voice. Will be your body. Oh, I'm falling. Something. The stage is not merely the meeting place of all arts, but it's also the return of art to life. Oscar Will, you talk too much. Thank you so much. Who am I even? Okay. Interesting. How do I do this? What? No, this... This doesn't make any sense. What? Like, like, like this? Yeah. Got a light on, right? Oh, okay. I don't want to go in there, so that's, uh, that I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you got some more ink. Why is life a dream? I don't know, don't ask me that. Wait. Oh, the, 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 it did turn on the light. I didn't, I just didn't realize that. Okay, you got some ink here. <laughs> is bro a tentacle? Hey, your part. <laughs> okay, bro is a tentacle. Okay, damn, I just got chills. Well done, Sir Tartarus. Okay, that was uh, after the curtain call. I'm actually gonna play the Act 2 when it comes, because this looks really cool. And I wanna play more of this. 
But uh, yeah, that was um, after the curtain call. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of these kind of videos um, or other videos on my channel. And uh, yeah, as always, I will see you guys in the next video.